Hello and welcome to another Jira administration tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about statuses and resolution in Jira. So as an administrator, you will be required to cust add custom statuses and the resolution statuses as per the request from different projects or um, you know, uh, multiple projects they might be requiring to have different workflows for which you might be um, required to add the statuses. So we'll discuss uh, and see a demo how you can do that. So I'll go to the administration section and go to the issues. Now in the issue section, we have covered already um, the time tracking and issue linking features, which are, which are the issue features. Now issue attributes is what we are covering in this tutorial. How you can add the statuses and then the resolutions which will be uh, required in the issue workflow or the workflow underlying workflow uh, for the issues in any project now if you click on statuses now these are some of the st statuses that are available at the moment and uh, you can see open in progress reopen resolved etc so these are uh, the the current statuses and the category in which these particular statuses belong so in jira you have three categories to do in progress and done so any statuses that you are creating will fall in any one of these three categories either in to do or in progress or done and then these statuses where are they used they are used in the work workflows so any workflow that you are using whether it's sim software simplified workflow or you are creating a custom workflow when you create the status here it will be available in the uh, workflow designing that you'll be doing so before you um, go ahead and you know um, start creating the workflow uh, the first thing is to have all the business analysis done and then come up with the actual statuses or the minimum number of statuses that will fulfill the requirement of most of the projects and only add the statuses if it is very much required and not just unnecessary keep adding the status for the sake of it so um, if you are having too many statuses here or too many you know like resolutions um, defined it becomes really difficult to capture all the data and sort of becomes a tool overhead and people don't want to use it so the best practice is to minimize or have the minimum number of statuses and um, resolutions um, but since we are doing the demo here I'm just going to add um, a new status say for example uh, there is a requirement that when a user story moves from development to testing so we, we need to have a status as in QA or in testing okay then what we can so, uh, do we'll provide the description here and the category is basically in progress because it has moved from development to testing and uh, the story is progressing so we'll say in progress once you click on add you will see that in testing status has been added and there is no associated workflow for it all right then it will um, give you the order of the status as well you know like in what order it will be available so for example in progress um, open in progress so similarly um, if there is a requirement to have in development so you can have open in development in testing and then um, in review and finally closed so all those statuses are possible and you can add it and then later associate with the workflows that you will be defining so that's how you you will be adding the statuses in Jira now coming um, next to the resolutions so what what is a resolution so resolution is basically um, when an issue is moved from in progress to done there is a resolution field um, that is required or you can make it required to be filled in always um, to capture how the issue was resolved you know like whether it was um, whether it was duplicate or um, it, it can't be done uh, done or it's you know like um, um, it cannot be re reproduced etc 
so those sort of uh, details will give you a granular uh, level of uh, reporting to see if say for example 100 issues have been uh, or 100 defects have been resolved or done then what is the resolution of those 100 issues you can pull out the report based on the resolutions so adding a resolution is also pretty simple and straightforward you can provide the name and description and just click on add to add the resolution so for example um, I want to add a resolution as fixed um, the issue is fixed I'll just provide a description there and click on add right and now you can see the fixed issue uh, fixed is also available there so apart from done you have fixed so when a developer fixes a defect or does some code change and does the fix he'll choose the resolution as fixed um, and then move it to done and then here I can choose the priority or, or the, sorry the order in which these resolutions will appear in the resolution screen so we'll cover um, the resolution screen and the uh, statuses as well uh, in later tutorials but uh, this is pretty much uh, how you can add the statuses and resolutions in Jira as an, as an administrator. So that's pretty much uh, all about the issue attributes, statuses and resolutions in Jira and how you can add these statuses and resolutions in Jira. Hope you liked the video. Please do share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.